How can we reduce the amount of methane in cows' burps? Feed them probiotics, according to researchers in New Zealand. These cows at Massey University Farm in Palmerston North are enjoying their daily feed blended with a special extra ingredient, cow butcher. It's a punnily named probiotic that's so far proven itself successful in reducing emissions from calves. The true eureka moment um, for me was when we got the results of the first cattle trial back and we were able to show that we got a reduction in methane of up to 20%. Shalom Bassett is the principal scientist at Fonterra Research and Development Centre. She's been in charge of a series of tests carried out by the dairy giant since 2021 to gauge the efficacy of the probiotic. So Kalbucha is a natural uh, probiot potential probiotic um, methane busting solution to reducing methane emissions on farm in New Zealand and potentially globally. So the way that we came up with it is that we've got one of the world's largest dairy culture collections. We've got over 40,000 strains here. Um, and we'd been using that collection to look at probiotics for human health applications. So it's really easy for the farmer to use. Um, they can take a sachet of powder and they just mix it into the milk that they would be giving their calves anyway. Um, so they mix it in the bucket, give it to the calf and job done. Bassett hopes to introduce cow butcher sachets in stores by the end of 2024. Agricultural emissions currently account for around half of New Zealand's greenhouse gas emissions. As of 2025, farmers will have to start paying for their animals' burps as part of the government's agricultural emissions pricing plan designed to cut biogenic methane emissions by 10% on 2017 levels by 2030 and by up to 47% by 2050. The move will make New Zealand the first country in the world to make farmers pay for emissions from livestock. It's raised concerns within farm groups. Others believe it's the financial incentive that farmers need to reduce emissions. Our farmers need a solution and New Zealand needs a solution. So New Zealand has key targets it needs to meet by 2030 and also by 2050. Um, and this is a great solution that would be easy for farmers to adopt and help us meet some of those key targets. Other feed additives available abroad have also shown positive results. For example, Royal DSM's Bovea feed additive can reduce methane emissions by 30% in dairy cows and by more in beef cattle. New Zealand is considering whether supplements from abroad can be adapted locally, but much of the science overseas focuses on altering barn animals' food and is harder to implement in a country where animals largely live outdoors and eat grass. In May 2022, New Zealand's government announced it would spend over $213 million on research over the next four years to counter agricultural emissions. A lot of research is already underway, but agricultural economist Susan Kilsby says there's still a lot to be done in a country where agricultural products make up more than 75% of the country's goods exports. It's pretty much going to be a cost to their operation um, as we go forward, particularly until we have the scientific solutions available to actually reduce the methane emissions down. Um, so at the moment, you know, the, the easiest way to reduce emissions is to reduce production or have less animals, basically. Um, so that's a real challenge when we're trying to also, you know, produce enough, you know, continue to produce um, food, um, and keep our export returns at the level that we want them to.